another edition of a Uncommon Sense Ride Along. Man, it's Uncommon Sense here, and I want to share with you guys Uncommon Sense. That's what we do, right? I happened upon this fragrance late 2020, like in December. Man, all I'm going to tell you is this. I'm starting to really dig in the houses. The indie house we're going to talk about today. Fragrance Motion. On Uncommon Sense, we talk about all the uncommon fragrances, lifestyle, fashion, style, health, beauty. If you're into that type of content, you're going to want to stick around. You ain't going to want to miss this. Once you've checked out the content, you like what you see. I want you to do all three. We want you to like, comment, and subscribe because we want to continue to grow this channel and continue to bring you the freshest content available. We are about to get into this now. Let's go. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. You know, I was admittedly confused by the name. I didn't know it was Swahili. I was pleasantly surprised when I learned that this was Swahili for the only one. I love to learn a little bit more about something with some meaning, substance, and depth. That's what they deliver. First impressions, I wasn't a fan of it the first time I wore it. The opening leaves a little bit to be desired to me kind of comes off as detergenty and nutty at the same time, which was a little odd for me to process. Let's go ahead and get a little It has a very unique scent. I don't think I smelled anything like this. There's a cleanness about this fragrance. Some of my favorite words. Sexy Allura. It leaves an impression. You know what I mean? And I, it's so dope to me. If you're in your fragrance journey and you don't want something that everybody rocking with, this will be a fragrance for you to check out. Get your nose on this one. It's debonair. Really can't explain it because it doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled in life. And that's great for me as a fragrance and cologne connoisseur because I've smelled a lot of things and after you smell so many fragrances, they start to kind of smell similar. Oh my God. I really feel like this one is a great date fragrance. Like after it's dried down, of course. Meet somebody for the first time, they'll get next to you and smell it and be like, oh my God, you smell good. Shit, you might even get laid. I ain't gonna guarantee it. I do me. <laughs> if I had it all, like, <laughs> it smells really, really good. We're gonna get right into the no breakdown. In the top. Mid. And then the base. I smell lavender. Something a little sweet something a little nutty. It's very clean and distinguished. The opening somewhat reminds me of Tom Ford's fucking fabulous. That nutty, kind of leathery fragrance. Longevity. This is a quality fragrance. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got Lachine on my hand from that oil content in the fragrance. I don't know if this is an order of my phone, but I'm checking to it. I think it is. I have another fragrance by Marimetta Laleva. Again, I'm starting to rock with indie houses because indie houses have that thing about them where it's like, yo, we are establishing ourselves out here in this market and we're going to show the out. 
and that's exactly what they did with this fragrance. It's sexy, it's sexy Dex. That's what I would call this sexy Dex. I'd wear this fragrance on a night out. I'd wear this fragrance to gatherings. I probably wouldn't wear it to work because I feel like it's a little too jazzy for work. You know what I mean? I feel like it may be a little too humping and jumping for the job. Anywhere else, I'm wearing it. You know, I don't think this is a casual or gym scent. This is a when you want to feel your most sexiest and esteemed type of fragrance. So on longevity, I'm going to give it a 10 off, off the rim. It got on one of my shirts, and that shirt has been in the laundry for a week and a half. And that shirt is still juking. Don't judge me. I have not done my laundry. Shit. I don't like doing laundry. And I have enough clothes where I don't have to do laundry for a long time. Mind your business. Okay, we had to talk about fragrances, not get in my business about how much I'm washing clothes. It kind of has that clean, freshly laundered clothes situation, that nutty situation that's gone. But I will tell y'all, if y'all want to smell a fragrance that is not like anything you have in your collection, Motion, Dermetta. Dermetta, yeah, I'm, I'm on board. I'm looking forward to a lot more of their offer. An XP price. I got a 10 mil for 16 bucks. I ain't mad at that. I actually like that it came in this square bottle. I've seen other folks have the round bottle. I like the square bottle. It's different. And I love different. We love uncommon stuff. For that P price, I'm gonna rate it a nine. I, I really can't get mad at it at all. The presentation is interesting. Like I said, I like this decant. The bottles, the larger size bottles, they kind of got the long neck, square, black label, minimalist-like packaging. You know, nothing too crazy. I rated seven and a half on presentation. Rated a 10 on performance. It don't play no games. I spray maybe a couple sprays across the body. It's stuck in there with me home for the day. You know what I mean? Flat out, love that. Projection, it's not a crazy projector, but it ain't no slouch either. So I'm gonna rate it an eight for projection. Siage, it leaves a nice dense trail. Juice is like deep amber color. It's one of those fragrances that you, you're not gonna be able to ignore. And I like that about certain fragrances where you cannot ignore them, but what's that? It's gonna have somebody ask you what you got on. It's the conversation start. Once somebody gets a whiff of it, then what you got on? That brings me to my next subject. Reason for the season. If right now in the mid, it's something so fresh and floral that I'm liking. But the this fresh floral kind of reminds me of spring. And this probably is one of the fragrances that I'm gonna be wearing in the spring for, for sure as we get ready to head into that season song. It feels like spring for temperate temperatures of winter, but spring for sure. This has a fresh floral, gardenia, garden type scent. This will get you noticed for being different. If you like that type of thing, like I do, this is, this is, that's what I liked. That's what I need. Mm. It's, it's so clean and floral and such a, it's such a complicated melody, but it's elegant in its simplicity. Ugh. So I've gushed about this fragrance for a good amount now. I'm going to tell you like this. This is a copper drop. For sure. This is a copper. I feel like this is something that I need in my fragrance arsenal. Because I don't see me getting tired of this anytime soon. I honestly think this is signature scent worthy, especially since it's so different. Which sense two or three times a day. I'm gonna wrap it up here. It's been your man, Uncommon Sense, and I thank you guys for coming along on this mobile ride along with me. I'm forever grateful. You know what I mean? So it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart to the top of the fast, all the way around, and I'm out.